you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Now that I have finally decided to give love a chance, the one that I love decided to turn me down. <clears throat> when you see, pardon me, I want to say something. Go ahead, Anna Quenza. We all know how much our maidens want to be with you. Why don't you choose any one of them? I forget about that uh, HS on her. True, Nisi. She's not even worthy of your love. She's one worthless maiden that serves pan wine at the bar. I mean, Nisi, I am sure you're not even aware. That maiden, HS on she sleeps around with different men. Wow. <laughs> For money. It's more money. This stuff is everywhere now. Having two head. <laughs> but one has a way of triggering the sex or the men. Once they drink themselves to stupor, they calm down their bodies with that classless, useless etches on it. <laughs> Anna Quincy, did somebody lay a curse on your tongue? What kind of stupid question is that? I see no other reason why you say such a thing in the presence of Onisi about the maiden that you know that he loves. If not that someone plays a curse on your tongue. Yukumo is everywhere. Yukumo is everywhere. Omuko, I am even planning to use my extra cash to go to her. <laughs> you, you will give me something now. <laughs> okay, Zaya. Okay, get him over for Aka. Hey, if you continue like this, I assure you, you lose this your job. And she refused to accept my proposal. It's not the issue here. There is something else that bothers me greatly. Talk to me, I'm listening. Oh, well, before I made my intentions known to HSM, I came to you as a man to another man and I asked you about her and you confirmed to me that she has no spots. That is the truth. She has no spots. Why did you not tell me that she is wearing one? I beg your pardon? How could you say a thing like that? I mean, how could you? People think that she sleeps with the men that patronize you for money. May Amadio has strike those that say that to me. May Amadio has strike them. This is my problem in this land. How could people wake up and decide to spoil the names of other people? How? There is something I never told anyone in this land. But I'm going to tell you. Because I hold you as a man of noble class. Just come with me.
been like that since she started working here. Every other night, that lady sleeps in there. If you want to make that lady your wife, like you told me, I encourage you to go ahead. Do not consider all the malicious words people are telling you about her. They are false. The only problem that lady has is that she is poor. And I look you in the face, Shuku the Nipo, the great man of Uru Nebo, and I want to ask him. Is poverty now in sin? Madoka, please give me this name, please. 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 What have I gotten myself into? Did I tell you that this is over? It's still new, Chichu. I know it's you. We are still friends. But as far as the matter concerns Chukudini, I'm sorry I cannot help you. Madika, all you've done so far is as good as nothing. Even the suggestion you came up with backfired. I did not only go through pains, I was humiliated. Now that you believe that my suggestions are not favorable, why are you still disturbing you, Chichi? Leave me alone. Sorry. I'm sorry if my choice of words offended you. But please, I still need your help. Please. I need someone close to Chukudini, but in order to get him. Chachi, listen to me and listen very carefully. Because I'm going to say this only once. For Chikudi has no maiden in his life. But as we speak now, he has a special maiden in his life. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. In fact, he's ready to do anything to be with this maiden. Now that you know, please leave him alone. Anu, let me be. Um, 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 Madika. What is it again? Tell me who this maiden is. Her name is the Chesona. She's a sales girl at Mobo's bar. Now you know. Please leave him alone and don't bring me into this matter again. Thank you. A Chesona. That thing. That sleeve. What is he doing with his sleeve? Please, I beg of you. Please send me on another errand, please. Why? Have you not been the one going to buy me bush meat from Chuku the Nipo's place? Or has he harmed you in any way? No, he hasn't done anything wrong. So why asking me to send you on another errand? I don't understand what is going on here. Is there something you're not telling me? What's happening? He wants me to marry him. You're not serious, are you? Shuku Dinibo, the wealthiest young man in our city kingdom, the most noble of them all, is asking you to be his wife. That's good news. How does that affect your going there to buy me bush? Why should I be the one you would choose? The news of how all the maidens of Osili kill themselves over him is everywhere. Why should it be me? And how is that your fault? Why would you blame yourself that he shows you over them? I don't want trouble. I am only but a stranger in this land. I don't want any trouble at all. Why, why does it have to be me? Actually, let me ask you a very simple question and I want you to give me a very simple answer. 
What if it is your destiny to be his wife? No. Will you be able to stop it because you don't want trouble? I don't see how that is my destiny. Don't be a shy, please. Don't be a shy. And let me remind you that very soon people will gather here to eat bush meat. I don't want to lack the bush meat I will sell at Sunset. Please. <laughs> Anybody here? Oh, 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 but we do not supply in the evening. Well, we should know that. He would not have sent me if he knew. Maybe I should go and let him know. He knows. Yet he sent me to come here and embarrass myself. That is enough. Wait. Come, let us see how we can help Hobo. Excuse me. Take that to him. I thought you said you don't have any. What you see in there was kept for another customer. Then I think you should keep it for the customer. No one would understand. It's just that the evening is still young and we already ran out. I gave that to you myself, didn't I? You didn't force me to. Take it. Take it to one more. Thank you. Thanks, your mom. I not only felt it, I could see it in his eyes. He's truly in love with me. And I love him too, a lot. At least I think I do. But what can I do? He is a man of noble character. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't looking. Oh yes, you weren't looking. I said I'm sorry. Yes, she's the one. Hey! Me? Did you stop me just to do that? Are you... Are you Momo's barmaid? What? Barmaid? I work for Momo. What do you want? You are the one that Chukudinibu has lost his senses to, right? I am talking to you! I asked a question. Are you the one that Chukudinibu, my man, 
has lost his senses too. Chukudi. Oh yes, I know him. As a matter of fact, I am just coming from his house. So if you claim he is your man, I think you should ask him that question. My name is Echezona. So you go and ask him if I am the one he has lost his so-called senses to. She's one timid local girl. Imagine her boldness. Actually, gave me the one he said he reserved for someone else. Really? That's unlike Chukudini, but he never does that. Well, that's what he told me because I was already on my way out when he called me back and gave it to me. You see what I've been trying to make you understand? Chukudini has never gone this extra mile for me. I believe he did because of you. What's wrong? What would he face? Did you go into a fight with him or what? Over what? I already told him I'm not interested in him, so why should we fight? Prepare the meat and be fast about it. Customers are already asking for the meat. Actually, I have been looking at you since you came back from school to the house. And I can swear that something is wrong. How can you say you can swear? As if you know me like the back of your palms. Of course I do. You're like my younger sister. And ever since you came to live with me here, I have studied you very well. I know when you're troubled. Just that most of the times I, I decide not to interfere. Chuko Dinibo is a friend of mine that I know in this land very, very well. And if he has started to give you trouble lately, open up to me and I will fall out with you immediately. It's not about him. He hasn't done anything wrong to me. So what's the problem? It's triple the name of the womanizer. Is he really into women? The womanizer? Okay. Where is that coming from? A maiden stopped me on my way home. She almost had a fight with me. She said I'm the one by making her mad, lose his senses over her. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It is not funny. I was embarrassed. 
It was as if I had slapped another woman's husband. Do you know why I am laughing? Because it is actually very funny. Listen to yourself. The maid in question said, You are the one a man lost his senses to. That's very funny. I don't know. What does that mean? I don't even understand what she meant by that. You, you don't need to bother yourself understanding what that means because it means absolutely nothing. I don't know this maid that stopped you along the road and I don't want to know. But there is something I know. Shuku Dinibu is a man I know so well in this life. And he's a man of noble quality. As we speak, there is no single woman in his life, not to talk of me, and I is. So my dear, if you have started to feel anything for me, as you now want to give me a chance, please, go ahead. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that at all. It's just that I was really mad. She, she was just going on and on. I was wondering why a man with such a beautiful maiden would want to go after another one. Because the stupid neighbor we are talking about is the dream of almost all the maidens in this land. So it is understandable that we have all gone around fighting over him with all other maidens. That shouldn't give any good matter. Shouldn't bother you. Oh, Chechi. Nothing will change the fact that you are a pathological liar and a deadly deceiver too. Well, you can call me anything you like, but that will not change the fact that both of you hate yourselves. You can kill yourselves over a man that will never accept you. You know what? You are a big fool. Get out of this house before I do something drastic. Wait, what was she even thinking of when she was coming here? I would have better that with hot water if she had come to my house. Would you actually leave now? Get out! I will leave. Now, calm down. I will leave. But not without delivering my message. To what nonsense oh. message? You know, Chuku Dinibo, the very man we all have been killing ourselves to have. Oh, we now? Yes, we. He now has a woman in his life. Um, Zara, have you done it already? I mean, you went behind me to see Chuko Denebo. Me? I have not set my eyes on him for a long time. But I'm certain that it is Uzoma. Maybe she has finally charmed Chuko Denebo with her food. Oh, just shut up! Just shut up, fools. Just, just shut it. If you do not know what to say, shut up! Shoku Dinibo has his eyes on Echezona. The meeting that works at Mobo's bush bar. Well, I expected that look on your faces. I'll be on my way now. I only thought I should let you know there is a new enemy. I advise you should check her out. I only came here to buy meat, nothing more. And trust me, if I had my way, I would not be here. Why? Chesana, why? Is it a crime to love? Is it? I love you. And I want you. I'm not deceiving you. I know. I didn't say you're deceiving me. I just don't want trouble. 
I cherish the job I do and the little I earn from it, and I don't want that ruined. Ruined? So marrying me will ruin it for you? What? Why would you say such a thing? I know what I'm saying, and I expect you to understand too. I do not understand. Please make me understand. <laughs> I have never loved before because I've been very scared of getting involved with any woman. Until you came into my life. All that changed when you came into my life. This is not happening. Chukwu Dibu. Chukwu Dibu, why? Why? Why are you doing this? What? What are you doing to yourself? Why do you want to drag your good name to the mud? Is this what you chose over me? This bad medic? This is exactly what I was talking about. Echezana, Eche, Eche, Echezana, please come. Go. She would make her go, please. I believe she understands that she does not deserve you. Please make her go. Good Nubu, please. Please. Look at me. Take me to your people. Make me your wife. And you will forever know joy. I promise you. Now listen. I want you to leave this compound this moment and never ever return. Do you hear me? I do not want to see you here when I come back. upon myself did I make a mistake by coming here to work why would such a noble man want to make me his wife because he loves you why me you have all it takes to be a wife to any good and responsible man how can you say that with my past no noble man will want to be with me when he hears about my past Love conquers everything. He truly loves you and will accept your past no matter how dark it is. No. No, I am not ready for this. I can't let him or anyone in this place know about my past. I can't. I am sure that he will get tired of me one day and give up. Yes. I shall continue to say no to him. I must not give in to his pressures. I do not know you. This is the very first time I'm setting my eyes on you. Who are you and what are you doing in my compound? Must you know me to precise and reconcile the things I said? The things you said? What have you said? That we have something in common? That our lives are similar? That we are one, ultimately? What does that even mean? You smile. Why do you smile? Listen. I have a feeling that you are a spirit. Probably an evil spirit. 
introduce yourself properly and state your mission clearly. Or I will have no other choice than to treat you as an enemy. Just... Wait, wait, that is enough. Wait! That is enough. All is well. I forgot something. What else did you know? I couldn't sleep, so I came outside. Are you okay? Yes. It's just a bad dream I had. It made me uncomfortable. You mean you are still up at this time? Standing here because of a late dream, not even a nightmare. What dream is that? The dream I. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Yes, yes, sir. When you came to work, you told me you were not going to be used to it. So, what did you come and ask that? Why did you? Problem with is the service. Precious now does not serve me this way. No, 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 please. Look at me. Sit down. Just sit down. Elsa Sana! Elsa Sana! Please come and take care of your special customer. Tell me what you want to do. 
Fortunately, today we have fresh popcorn from the Virgin Tree, and it tastes a little bit better. Just like me, I think you'll like it. Fine. Get me the drink. All I want is to watch my beautiful etches and ash. You are the blood that keeps me alive. I can't get enough of you. Get me the drink. I just want to observe you as you. Come on, turn around. Don't do that. Man. You will fall! Stop it! Turn! <laughs> She's just the very best. Hey, Mude. You know, in as much as I, I want to sell a lot of bottles of my wine, but I must have to remind you that you have a small bottle. So you have to be careful how you drink my wine. You have wrong rumors. Weekend. Mabu, Odobune, Pempe, Mude. What? Odobune, Pempe. Yes, she comes. Fresh bottles. Enjoy yourself. So good in you, boy. The great man of Uru Nepo. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, the greatest palm wine tapa in our land. I greet you. You are welcome. Thank you very much. I feel excited seeing people like you coming to my bar. Because it gives me this impression that I'm going to sell a lot today. I don't know if to take that as a compliment. Because. <laughs> like, how many bottles do you have? Two. Two will not make me lose my head now. No, no. Sit down. Hey, Shazana! Eshe Zona! Eshe Zona! She seems to be doing everything possible to avoid me. But I have consistently asked her to stop. What's going on? Don't worry about it. You can serve me today. I will manage. Thank you. to hike for me. I understand. May I ask why you always do your best to avoid me? Why that bad? I don't want to go looking for my sugar back to the bar. Yes, you can 
because I was the only one who saw you run away to hide. To hide from me. That's just a minute. Someday, you will find a place in your heart for me. For us. I dream that someday I will have you by my side. I mean, every word that I have to say. And you said because I'm you said please, please forgive us. And you said please forgive me, please. And because I'm okay. Please. And you said, please. 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 what do you want me to do now? Forgiveness. And you said please, please forgive us. I'm very, very sorry. Forgive you for what exactly? For accusing me of stealing your woman? Or for plotting to take my life? I love that. Because I'm uh, Please. Uh, because I'm Please. Forgive us, please. Yes. Do not punish him for this. I take the blame. Yes. It was all my fault. Because I'm All I beg for is your forgiveness, Chukutini. But please. 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 I do not have any right not to forgive you. Thank you. But the truth is that I cannot do that which you ask of me. Hi. Hi. And you say, please, I beg of you. Please, forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. It's our fault. Odukwe, I cannot take you back to work for me. Hi. That is not possible. Hi. I have forgiven you, yes, but my spirit will not let me take you back. Hi. Please. I'll be back with you shortly. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I need the job. Get up. Please. Huh? Get the job, please. Get up. Hmm? Please. Thank you. Dana. Yes. Thank you. I have forgiven you. Yes. Thank you. And um, I know that you need this job. It's a great deal. Yes. Especially now that you are getting married. And it pains me greatly that I cannot give it to you. Huh? Here. Mm -hmm. Take this. Start a business. Sustain yourself. Sustain your new family. This is the most I can do. Mm. I hope it is good enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Asipam kam noro we mo Obi mama we Mbibi alona Just about to bring it, I'm almost done. Mm 
fast about it. Yes. Have you finished the washing? Yes. Please sit down. What is going on with you? I asked the question or didn't you hear me? I heard you. There's nothing going on with me. That is if I understand your question. It appears as if you are losing your mind. Even when you walk. Like today, which is still very fresh. You were so lost when you were filling the bottles. You were practically wasting my wine. And this is something that you have been doing lately on a regular basis. I've been monitoring you. Thinking it is something that will pass with time, but it has become very consistent. And I call you to ask, what is eating you up? Actually, I have told you time and time again that you are like a younger sister to me. And I want you to see me as your elder brother. Forget the fact that you work here for me. I want us to relate like members of the same family. What is the problem with you? I'm really sorry about what happened earlier today. I was just lost in thought. What thought? The people at home, are they alright? Or did you receive any bad news from your place? No, no, no. no. Everyone is doing well. Everyone is fine. Is it about him then? Him. Who? You love him, right? Chukwu Dinibu. You love him. So all these upset mindedness is because of Chukwu Dinibu. Is he not? It is then why are you punishing yourself? Why are you not willing to give this young man a chance in your life even when it is clear to me that you love him? What have you not done to push him off? And he has remained very consistent coming. What's your problem? Or are you keeping yourself for any other man? No, I've not been with any other man since I turned 15. Then why are you not giving him a chance? Chukwu Dinibu is good for you. If he's not good for you, I wouldn't have allowed him to come near you in the first place to make that proposal. And I, I, I allowed him because I know he means well. Why are you punishing yourself? Why are you subjecting yourself to this kind of trouble? I called you here this night to talk to you as a brother. And I want you to critically think what I have just said this night. Give it a thought because he means well. I will leave you now, but I want you to think about what I just said. I will see you tomorrow. why we are here. A rat always knows the owner of the fish it steals. In that case, I assume you already know why we stopped you. Hey! What did you just do? Hmm. 
I want sailor. Uh -huh. Cheap stranger that sleeps with all Weibo's customer. Mm -hmm. Did you just raise your filthy hand to hit me? Did you? Answer now. Of course you will not talk. You will not open that your smelling mouth. Ukunu. You can do all you want to do. Say all you want to say. But I will not have you call me names. Hey! I will not stand here and listen to you call me names. Hey! <laughs> Finally, she opens this her stinking gutter mm -hmm. god mouth to talk. If we insult you, what will you do? Hey! What? What will you do? I will not take it. Hey, Zara, one name. Mm -hmm. Be cool. Help me call this smelling rat a befitting name. <laughs> 